This has nothing to do with the video, but I switched the Achilles out for a Hyperion. Looks pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so anyways... Uh, we have another, uh, LEGO random booster. Um, now the last one had Hercules, a Hyperion, and a Minoboros. This one has a brand new Beyblade being Glyph Gaia. And it also has, um, a recolor of Dragon and Lucifer. So, yeah, so here we have the random booster boxes that I use. Um, of course, now I repurpose them for the LEGO random boosters. It is not Bahamut. I should make a Bahamut, though. That would be cool. But, um, yeah, we're gonna start off with this one, and I have no idea which one's in which, so let's see what we get, and we get... Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, we got the prize already, awesome. So this is, um, Glyph Gaia, so, um, yeah, let's just get into the parts now. The layer. So the layer Glyph Gaia is a little bit different from the original, um, Gaia. First of all, the color scheme is different. The color scheme is based off of the recolor from Beyblade Burst Surge because the original color scheme was just kind of like red and I don't think it looks that interesting. So now we have a more interesting color scheme and I really like this one. It kind of has like a rocky texture and it has like, like, you know, it's like volcano colors. I like it a lot. So it's a balance type layer, but it does have a lot of aggressive contact points and it is different where um, it's not like this one where it's like it has the aggressive parts on the sides and the flat parts on the top and bottom For this one, it's just aggressive all the way around except I guess for these sides is the orientation like this or like this I don't know. I just choose this just because it looks the most natural But um, I like it. I think it is pretty interesting uh, 2x4 layer. So let's move on to the next part The chassis the chassis is 4A dash now Why am I using an attack chassis and a balance type? Well, that's because the original Gaia came with the quarter disc, which was supposed to be like an off-balance disc. It really wasn't that off-balance, but hey, off-balance chassis is just like the quarter disc. So we chose 4A dash for this combo. And you can also put this on the Minoboros recolor from the first random booster. Let me get that for a sec. So here's the Minoboros recolor from the first random booster. We can just put it onto here. And now we have a matching color scheme. And now that I think of it, it would make a lot of sense to put this on here, but nah, whatever. The driver. Yeah, the driver's fusion, which is pretty simple, but it was the driver that came on the original Gaia. And, you know, it was about time that, like, you know, I was just gonna make some, like, very basic drivers, but, um, it's not bad. It's pretty decent. Um, what makes this fusion is that it has a normal stud instead of a whole stud, which is what I usually use. And the normal stud has, like, the Lego pattern on it, so I guess it's kind of like the bump on a fusion. I don't really know, but it's close enough. So, yeah, there is Glyph Gaia. 4A dash fusion. Let's move on to the next Beyblade. All right, so here we have the second random booster. Um, uh, it feels pretty heavy. I think this one might be Dragon. Yep, this one's Dragon. All right, so here is the Dragon recolor, and uh, I like this one. It's a green, yellow, black recolor. The color scheme is based off of like the stereotypical like green colors for a dragon, and um, also you could say maybe like Rayquaza or Shenron or something like that. But, um, yeah, this layer is really, really good, too. Extremely good attack power, extremely good stamina, and it has Awakening, which doesn't really do too much, but at least it's there. And it's nice to have a second copy of this, so, yeah, let's move on to the chassis. The chassis is 1S dash, which, you know, it's, it's okay, I guess. It's a little light, but, I mean, you know, it, I just had this green circle piece, and I was like, you know what, let's put on a Beyblade, so I put on a Beyblade. The, the, I know the, the, the shade of green is wrong, but you know what? That doesn't really matter. And then we have the driver, which is a new driver, and this is Wave. So the Wave driver is a thin tip with a large ring and a larger ring. And it's not that aggressive, but not that passive. It's definitely a very balanced driver. So that's it for the Dragon Recolor Detonate Dragon 1S Dash Wave. I, I kind of like the side view. It looks like... um. What was that, uh, Devil Excalibur from the Random Booster with- the, was, I think that was the one that had, like, the high wave dash on it. But yeah, uh, pretty nice looking Beyblade. Let's move on to the final bay. This one is, of course, the Lucifer Recolor, which is probably one of my favorite looking layers. So here it is. This is Last Lucifer, and this Recolor is based off of Astral Fafnir from Random Booster Volume 27 for Burst. And I dig the color scheme. I love the white and the purple, the red. I think it looks pretty cool. So this thing does have like a very minor mode change. You can switch it from defense mode, which just has the initial context point being very round. 
and then also the counter mode where you can flip it over and now the initial contact point is much sharper uh, I don't really know if that's how it works it doesn't really change that much but I mean it, at least the option is just kind of there I don't know but um yeah this definitely makes up for the fact that this layer is not that great I mean you can kind of use it in like opposite spin but like there's Hercules so you're not really gonna use this thing um, the chassis is pretty weird. This is a new chassis, and this is called FSB, which stands for Free Spin Balance. So, the gimmick for this is that it makes any driver free spinning with this super big turntable piece, and this part right here. I love spinning this, um, but, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I, the reason why I made it balance is because, I don't know, and also because the shape is not perfectly round. I did this because I feel like this gimmick is gonna be really overpowered for some stuff. So I nerfed it, and I did not make it perfectly round. It doesn't really matter that much, um, but, you know, it's pretty interesting. And then we have the Rise Driver. This driver is like, okay, same spin. The opposite spin is pretty solid and has good defense. It's just a decent driver that you can use, I guess. So that's it for that. So here is Last Lucifer FSB Rise. Also, I like how both the Lucifers that I've made have a chassis that's four studs tall instead of three studs and has a free spin gimmick on it, which is pretty interesting. So let's weigh these things and get to the test battles. We're gonna start with Gaia. So the layer for Gaia is around 14 grams. That's okay. The chassis is 13. Wow, it's pretty close to the weight. And then the driver, yeah, it doesn't really matter for the driver weight, but the full weight is around 29. Uh, that's all right, I guess. Like, it's not 30, but that's good enough. So let's move on to dragon. So the dragon layer is pretty heavy. It's like, yeah, 16 grams, pretty good. Um, the chassis is pretty light. Yeah, 11, 10, yeah, 11 grams, not that good. Um, and then the driver is like, oh, two grams, nice. It's a decently heavy driver I guess and then the final weight is 28 grams wow so it's actually lighter than um, Gaia by just a little bit and then finally the weight for Lucifer so the layer 12 yeah pretty bad um, I think the chassis is actually heavier yeah it's 13 all right and then the uh, driver you know it doesn't really matter um, so the full weight for this Beyblade is gonna be around 27. All right, so this is the lightest Beyblade in the set. So uh, yeah, now that we have um, that done, we're gonna do some test battles with these guys. Okay, so we're gonna all start off with Gaia. Let's see this guy's launch. So Gaia is moderately aggressive. Uh, let's try Dragon. Three, two, one, go. Two. Um, Dragon's much more docile. All right. And then finally, Lucifer, three, two, one, and it's pretty stable. It's actually like might be decent. All right, so let's battle the normal, like boring bays first, and then we'll battle them against the prize. Three, two, one, go shoot. There is Lucifer. Three, two, one, go shoot. Dragon, dragon already awakened, quote unquote. Oh my goodness, something flew off, and dragon wins. All right, cool. <laughs> There's Dragon, three twenty to shoot, there is Lucifer. So there we go. Lucifer is tanking some sets, and it just gets KO'd. Alright, yeah, Dragon's not bad. I mean it's bad, but it's not bad. Okay, next we're gonna battle Lucifer and Gaia. Shoot, there's Gaia, three, two, one, eight, shoot. That's not Gaia, that was Lucifer. Oh my goodness, parts are flying everywhere. Bro, Lucifer sucks, dude. It's so bad. Let's shoot. Three, two, one, Let's shoot. There we go. Oh, the counter attack. That was pretty cool, actually. Go shoot. Lucifer. Go shoot. Gaia. That was pretty weak launch there, but okay. Yeah, no, Lucifer's done for. Quick battle, but yeah. So now let's battle uh, Dragon and Gaia to finish this off. Go shoot. Dragon. Go shoot. Gaia. All right, they're both the more aggressive Beyblades in the set. So this one should be a little bit more interesting. Go. Oh, the piece broke off. Yeah, dragon stamina, it's pretty good actually. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, it came back, it came back. Come on, kill it, kill it. Ooh, I think Gaia just slightly won that one. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, and it burst a dragon. Alright, nice way to finish off the battles. 
So that's it for the new LEGO Random Booster featuring Glyph, Gaia, Lasso, Spurn, Detonate Dragon. Overall, I do like the color schemes of these bays. Um, as for their performance, they're interesting, I suppose. Um, but um, yeah, that's it for that. If you enjoyed this video, comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next video.